welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinners this week is going to be just a little bit shorter because Bunky was out of town the first few days and so I really only cooked meals the second part of the week but all the meals that I cooked are so simple they are great easy go-to weeknight meals for you and your family and I know you guys will love them if you are new I would love for you to stick around and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know anytime I post a new video and before you guys leave be sure to give this one a thumbs up but let's go ahead and get in the kitchen and get cooking all right y'all it is Tuesday and you know what that means it is time for a taco Tuesday but today we're gonna do it just a little bit different I have some crescent rolls here and we are actually gonna make like a taco ring so we're gonna bake it in the oven on my stone and we're gonna wrap all the hamburger meat and cheese inside of the crescent rolls if you've never had it before it's so yummy and then on bunky side we're gonna actually put in some jalapenos and then of course we have to have all the toppings so our salsa ratel hot sauce and I'm gonna shred up some iceberg lettuce for bunk and that is what's for dinner tonight so let's get it cooking They have not seen you with no beard. Oh, don't show them. <laughs> that sweet baby face. So while the hamburger meat is finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my crescent rolls in a circle to form the taco ring. I'm just gonna unroll them and put each triangle kind of overlapping the next one. Alright y'all, so the meat is ready and of course my bunkie put it in a perfect little circle because y'all know how he rolls. And then I have my little um, crescent rolls laid out here kind of in like a little circle with a little bit of cheese. I'm going to go ahead and pile some beef on top of the cheese and I'm going to add some more cheese because why not um and then i'll pop a few jalapenos on bunky side and then i put the oven on 350 and you'll basically just let it bake for whatever the can says for the crescent rolls or until they're nice and brown the one thing b does not like about this recipe is what if it gets soggy yeah he doesn't like whenever it's soggy so um a few times it's turned out soggy and a few times it's turned out perfect so we're gonna hope tonight turns out perfect Okay y'all, so now at this point, all you're gonna do is fold it over, and I guess you can pinch it off if you feel like it's too much dough, or leave it, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna pinch it. Give it a little pinch. Give it a little pinch it. Or I guess you could save that part and like lay it across this part. Oh, let's do that. That's a good idea. Look at you like thinking. I mean, why not? Why not? Use it. Use what you paid for. There we go. And it's going to expand while it cooks. So it's going to kind of get a little bit bigger so it'll flare out. If that's the right word. Fluff. Fluff, fluff up. up. This is going to be the ugliest talk I ring people have ever seen. No. <laughs> well, I think once it puffs up, it'll. We got these crazy looking strings laying across it. Okay. Okay, y'all. It might not be pretty, but we got ourselves a taco ring. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll let you know whenever we pull it out how long it bakes for. Okay, so I did go ahead and make my little taco sauce. I made this another time on a West for dinner whenever we had tacos. It's so easy, and I don't know what you call it, but it's kind of like enchilada sauce, right? No. This is sweet. It's almost like what you get in those little taco dinner kits. Yeah, so basically it's like ketchup, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, hot sauce, a splash of Worcestershire, and um, a pinch of sugar. And it's so yummy, so I like to put that on my tacos. So I made some of that. 
And basically all this taco meat that we have left, while well, he and I are munching on while everything cooks in the Okay, oven. our taco ring is out of the oven and it looks delicious even though I like epically failed. I totally forgot Bunky's jalapenos. I totally forgot to add extra cheese. So at least I got it on the bottom, thank goodness. And we'll just kind of add all of our extras on top. Um, even our little makeshift pieces <laughs> turned out okay um so i'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and then i'll show you guys what all it looks right like. so here is our taco ring we have some shredded lettuce sour cream a little sprinkle of cheese some jalapenos and some salsa and it looks amazing it looks like it got um really firm and not soggy so we're about to dig in okay so i'm already in my pjs bunky is outside cutting the grass and we both wanted something super simple tonight we didn't want to cook this like lavish meal and i was like what about barbecue chicken and macaroni and cheese that sounds so good and this meal was actually very nostalgic to me because when i was in high school i would go over to my best friend's house every thursday night to watch Grey's anatomy and her mom would cook us barbecue chicken and mac and cheese and it was so delicious and to this day i still make it all the time and it's one of my my favorite meals I'm gonna make her macaroni and cheese because I'm telling you it's amazing and the simplest thing ever I already have some chicken and some barbecue sauce marinating so we're gonna put that on the grill but I'm gonna flip you guys around show you the ingredients and then we'll get cooking okay so here is my barbecue chicken it has been marinating for about two hours now and I thought I would show you what I did to marinate it I just used some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce I added a little bit of this apricot like preserves kind of like a jelly or jam I thought that would give like a really good like texture sticky ooey gooey yummy sweet flavor to it <laughs> and then of course I had to add in some Frank's hot sauce because y'all know I love it so I just mixed those three things together with a little bit of black pepper and then that is what the chicken has a marinating in and then as far as macaroni and cheese goes we're just going to go ahead and boil some elbow noodles and this is actually the Walmart brand Velveeta cheese um, and so you just dice this up in little cubes and let it melt in there with some butter and some milk and that is it it is so simple and I promise it's amazing are gonna die when you see it and if I get crazy tonight y'all I might make some brownies because I have been craving them and that just sounds so good because I plan on relaxing tonight so that's what we're doing for dinner I'm gonna go ahead and put the grill on so we can get this chicken going did end up making the brownies and they were so worth it. I've had them all week. Almost done. It is looking really good. I'm gonna give it just another minute and I think that will be done. I'm gonna go get the mac and cheese going. The macaroni is done. We went ahead and drained the water and I'm gonna add in quite a bit of butter. Of course, you can't have mac and cheese without butter. So there we go. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of milk. And like make the milk whatever consistency you like. I like my mac and cheese to be a little bit more soupy. And if you need more, you can always add it too. And then Bunky's gonna come over here with my cheese. Okay. <laughs> so I just went ahead and cubed up some of this cheese and you're literally just gonna drop it in, let it melt and stir it occasionally, and that's it. It is so simple and it's so good. And then of course at the end you can add salt and pepper to taste. And it's ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. That's my favorite word. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chicken is done and it's off the grill. It looks amazing. I did take a bite and it tastes amazing too, if I do say so myself. And then this macaroni and cheese is done. It looks so good, y'all. I could eat this whole entire pot of mac and cheese, okay? Yum. I'm about to dig in. And we got brownies afterwards. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. Okay, here it is plated up. And my favorite part is taking a bite of this barbecue chicken and just sloshing it through that cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. You guys will have to try this and let me know how you like it. But that is what's for dinner tonight. So tonight for dinner, we are having steak and potatoes, which is like my favorite meal of all time. Bunky picked us up a steak after work today. And then he also found these crab cakes that he said he wanted to try. Bunky loves crab cakes. It's like one of his favorite things. So we're gonna grill those up as well. 
and then I've showed you guys this recipe before but it's like a Weight Watchers um, like potato wedge recipe and it's so delicious so I'm gonna cut these up into little wedges and bake them in the oven and then of course we're gonna have some broccoli to go along with it but that's what's for dinner tonight I'm gonna go ahead and get this steak marinating in some seasoning so for this steak, I just did a really simple, like quick and easy little marinade. I probably should have put the Worcestershire sauce on before the olive oil, but regardless, they both seeped in. And then I just did some black pepper, some garlic powder, and some sea salt. And it was delicious and super easy. Okay, so I've gotten all of my potatoes cut up into wedges. And I will say that these potatoes seemed really starchy as I was cutting them. So normally I do not like put them in water, but I am gonna do that this time. And then I'll try to get some of the starch off and then pat them out and dry before I put like all my seasonings and mixes on them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the little dressing for the potatoes before I stick them in. And I'm telling you, every time I make this, I do it differently, but the gist of the recipe is the same. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then some whole grain mustard. This is what makes it so good. It's like my favorite part, because one of these little mustard kernels, is that what you call them? I don't know, seeds, seeds balls, balls, mustard ball. Whatever they are, what's a um? A mustard cluster. <laughs> It's like a mustard Monkey. explosion in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Actually, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Once they cook, it's like they just explode in your mouth and they taste so good. So anyways, okay, I put your mustard in there with the whole grain kind. And I'm going to do a little bit of ranch seasoning. I'm going to do some pepper. And you know, potatoes can take lots of seasoning, so add as much as you'd like. A little garlic powder. some salt and a few crushed red pepper flakes. Yeah. You know, I gotta have a little heat. Okay. And then I'm just gonna mix that together and then I will toss the potatoes in all of this and bake them in the oven. I made a ton of potatoes so I may have to a little bit more of this but we'll see how it goes here's what the potatoes look like once i've got them tossed there's a ton they almost don't even fit on here but i just laid them on our silpat and then i've preheated the oven to 400. i'm gonna go ahead and pop these in bucky will you help me thank you and then just like bake them until they're tender i guess like 20 minutes they all be crunchy Okay, crunchy. And those are brownies that I made yesterday and I'm about to dig in. I want them so bad. Okay, so I've got my broccoli all cut up and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some olive oil. You guys have seen me make this like a hundred times, but I just thought I'd show you again. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic powder in here. Some people haven't seen you make this. That's true. Some black pepper. All the new subbies. Shout out to the new subs. Mm -hmm. I love that you call them subbies. Preach. <laughs> And then some pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I'm just going to toss it together and bake it in the oven. It only takes like 10 to 12 minutes. The camera is making this look rather dry, but it's actually pretty moist. The camera looks dry? It doesn't look very... No, no, no it looks good, okay, like we'll in person. Of course, that a little drop. But you can't really see the coating of the olive oil. Oh my gosh, I need to go turn that steak over. Okay, well I'm done. Okay. Okay, Okay. so I've got some butter melting in a pan over like medium to high heat. And then Bucky's gonna go ahead and pop in his crab cakes, although they are falling apart as we speak. Okay, so we're just gonna let them brown up on each side and then they'll be done. They're so simple to cook. Like you basically just want them to get like warm 
clear out and kind of get a crust on each side. Okay, so the potatoes are out of the oven. I did put them underneath the broiler for just a few minutes um, and it helped them kind of like crisp up. Some of the little mustard pieces got a little bit dark, but they smell and look amazing. And then of course our broccoli is done, our crab cakes, and our steak. So we're about to plate it up. All right, y'all, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know if you and your family make any of these recipes and how you like them. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I love you. Bye.